Ella Goody was last seen on March 9, 2022 in her 2012 Audi Q5 on Interstate 10 heading to Texas. She was a Lyft driver and was given a ride to a Brandon Francisco, 36, of Mansoura, Louisiana. She was only supposed to do a turnaround trip same day, but was never heard from again. Ella Goody from Scott, Louisiana has been missing since March 9th, 2022. Goody is known as a loving, kind, sweet, caring person. She is a mother and a hard worker and looks at herself as a black woman who makes boss moves to provide for her family. Ella also did ride share and was given a ride when she disappeared. According to her family, she had spoken with her daughter that morning and said she would be back before she got out of school. However, that did not happen. Her black Audi was seen earlier in the morning on March 9th going down Interstate 10 and then 12 hours later heading back towards Lafayette, Louisiana and the very next day her vehicle is tracked in the north of Dallas. At this point, no one knew if it was her or what happened because the last time someone talked to her was on the 9th. On March 16th, Brandon Francisco of Mansoura, Louisiana is named a person of interest in the case as he was believed to have been the last person to have contact with Goody before she went missing. Goody's cousin says she's waiting for the day Ella comes home. She knows exactly what she'll say to Ella when she sees her again. You know, I'm going to tell her that, you know, we all miss you. We was missing you. We was all worried and, you know, stressing. And we just happy to have our back. Authorities believe Brandon Francisco, pictured here, was the last person seen with Ella Goody. While he was wanted for questioning in connection with Goody's disappearance, Francisco was arrested in St. Joseph, Missouri on unrelated attempted murder charges out of Rapides Parish. He, was not, he has not been charged in connection with Goody's disappearance. See, back in December of 2018, Brandon was arrested because he was allegedly involved in a Christmas Eve shooting in Cheneyville that left a victim in critical condition. Brandon was with another suspect and both of them were charged with armed robbery, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, obstruction of justice, criminal conspiracy, and attempted first degree murder. Francisco would later be released on bond on June 12, 2019 and be awaiting trial for his charges. Now fast forward to March 25th, 2022 and a timeline of events. Francisco was arrested on a warrant near St. Joseph, Missouri by the U.S. Marshals for failing to appear in court the day that Goody was last seen on a different violation. Francisco then tried to fight extradition back to Louisiana from Missouri and he asked that the court appoint him a public defender to fight the extradition, but the judge denied it. It is also confirmed by this time, according to Liv, that Goody had been suspended from contract driving jobs at the time of her disappearance. So my question is, how did she end up even meeting him to give him this ride? Was it someone she was talking to? Was he a stranger stalking her and knew what she did for a living? A third party connection? Or he just seen her out and about? Just so many questions and so little answers. But then on April 1st, her vehicle was found and it was located in St. Joseph, Missouri. On April 6th, Francisco was finally extradited back to Rapids Parish where the district attorney filed two motions, one to revoke his bond and the other to get his trial started again that he skipped out on. Now the last place that Goody's phone pinged was in Iowa, Louisiana, where Louisiana State Police and other agencies were involved in a search, but they did not find her. And on May 3rd, the Louisiana State Police believed that Goody had been killed and started investigating her disappearance as a homicide. A social justice group is putting the spotlight back on a missing woman, Ella Goody. The 33-year-old was last seen March 9th of this year. Her family says she was driving a ride-sharing passenger to Houston. 
The next week, the 36-year-old Brandon Francisco was named as a person of interest, believed to be the last person in contact with Goody. On March 25th, he was arrested on unrelated charges. However, in May, Louisiana State Police said they were investigating Goody's disappearance as a homicide. Since then, there has been no new information released. Despite state police now investigating Goody's disappearance as a homicide, her cousins say they do not believe she's dead. It don't make me feel no type of way because I don't believe it's homicide because there's nobody. I mean, how could it be a homicide when there's nobody that's found? So, I mean, I don't believe it. We asked Goody's family why they feel she hasn't contacted them in over two months if she is, in fact, alive. I feel like she's in a, a dangerous situation. It has now been just over seven months since she has been missing, and when they try to question him about the ride, he doesn't say anything about Goody. It's definitely not surprising because obviously, in my opinion, he had something to do with it. And according to his rap sheet, it says a lot about him. Francisco is scheduled to go to trial in Rapides Parish in October for unrelated attempted second degree murder charges from 2018. This week, the Louisiana Supreme Court also ruled that the prosecuting attorneys could not present evidence from a prior attempted murder charge in which he pled guilty to stabbing his ex girlfriend nearly 20 times. Fred LaFosto, Caleb Line News 10. Back in 2003, he had possession of a stolen firearm and a conviction for statutory rape. And in 2008, an attempted second degree murder, and plus the information that I spoke about in 2018. I pray that her family can really get justice because I believe he was trying to get away, possibly because he had court that day and he knew that he would be going to jail and he had to find a victim, put his plan together. He knows where she's at. However, here recently, Brandon went to court and entered a guilty plea to the charge of second degree murder one week before his trial was set to begin for the second time in Rapids Parish and this was for the events of 2018. He will be serving 30 years in prison without the benefit of probation, parole, or a suspension of sentence. However, Goody's case is still open and under an investigation. I believe remembering is that, you know, so nobody forget about her. So that the community can know that we are still going to keep fighting until we find her. You know, we all keep in her faith because we know that she's still alive. I think that somebody have her, you know, against her will. But I really feel in my heart that she will be set free. They're going to have to let her go. But we know she's not dead. We know she's alive. Let everybody know that we're still searching. We want everyone to continue to search, and we're not going to stop till we bring Ella home. Another tool has been implemented in the search, a billboard donated by Bass Limited. And it's on I-10 East between uh, Evasion Thruway and Louisiana Avenue. It might seem simple, but that simple offer may pay off in a big, big way. Hopefully, they will get all the evidence that they need to find out what happened and to find her and bring her home to her family. If you have any information, please contact the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Department or Scott Police Department. This is just sad, it's scary. We have to be careful who we trust and like always, remember, stay woke, things change quickly.